Yeah. No. Now, I know it's a replacement for the Cavalier. I know. But I'm telling you, it's just a box on wheels. You want how much? You want six-minute road test? <laughs> All right, well, you know best. So, ladies and gentlemen, here it is, the new Vauxhall Vectra. Been a lovely summer, though, hasn't it? Hey, 28 days, was it, of uninterrupted clear skies? Of course, I missed it. I was away filming the new Motorworld series. I was in Texas and, uh, oh, excuse me. Yep. You want six minutes on the car? But that'd be the most boring piece of television since the potter's wheel. All right, all right. Well, here they are. Uh, choice of hatchback or saloon. Uh, state coming in a couple of years. A um, couple of different brown colours. Oh, engines. That's a good one. Um, well, you've got a choice of six. They uh, go from... 1.6 to two and a half litre V6, and there's a diesel shoved somewhere in the middle. Um, trim, five choices of trim, and prices go from about 12 to around 20 for this one. Um, you get a coat hook in the back for hanging your jacket on. Uh, oh, yeah, yes, no, it is. It's a good idea. I'll, I'll go for a drive. We'll, uh, we'll play some music. We always do that. gossip for you here. The drummer in this band, right, is Danny Goffey, son of the very famous Chris Goffey. No, uh, sorry, the car. Right, what else? Uh, oh. oh, that's dull. Well, it's got a coat hook. Oh, I've done that. Um, oh, the clock. The clock actually is worth a mention because it gets its information through the radio aerial, through the RDS system which in turn is getting information from the atomic clock in Germany, said to be the most accurate timepiece in the world. The advantage is that it knows whether it's in British summertime or wintertime. It even knows if you go over to the continent and moves about accordingly. The disadvantage is, <laughs> and I'm not kidding, it's two minutes slow. Don't misunderstand me, there's nothing wrong with the Vectra. It's quieter than the Cavalier and it fulfills the dictionary definition of a car very well. But small boys are not going to grow up yearning for the day when they can have one. Honestly, trying to road test it is like trying to road test a microwave oven. We need to try a different approach. I'm bored! We need to take this car out of its top gear environment and put it where it belongs, in the Serengeti of Repdom. Newport Pagnell Services on the M1. It's the perfect place to talk to the sort of people who actually have to drive the Vectra. Basically like a Cavalier. Um, very comfortable. Uh, I don't see a great deal of difference to the Cavalier. It's, uh, it's nicer inside than the Cavalier was, that's for sure. Instruments, layout, all very come very much to hand. Everything seems to be at fingertips. Um, radio, um, fan indicators, wipers, everything. It's got the airbag, it's got the leather steering wheel. I like the lines and I think the, the back looks like uh, the BMW. The appearance on the outside, I think it's a million dollars, it, it looks gorgeous. I like the uh, smart new grill, I wouldn't buy one. Uh, the Mondeo looks more interesting I think. I don't think I'd rush out in an excited state to go and buy one, I must admit it was my money. Vauxhall say they've spent £1.1 billion pounds of their money changing it from a Cavalier. For £1.1 1 .1 billion you can get a, what, a Apollo moon mission on the, off the ground, so uh, this is not an Apollo moon mission in my opinion. A mixed reaction from the reps then. But let's not give up on the quest for a decent verdict on the Vectra. It may turn out to be futile, 
but let's compare it to the competition. The thing to remember about cars in this class is that they're all pretty much identical. The only way you can choose between them is by looking at the little differences. The Renault Laguna, for instance, has a box above the driver's head for storing sunglasses. The Ford Mondeo has a biro holder. The Citroen Xantia has its funny suspension. And then there's the, um, what's it called? Vauxhall Vectra. I know. In here is a cunning little tool which gets the dust covers off the tyre valves. So, if this is what you've always wanted, then this is the car for you. What? It's five minutes 49. Um, so, what else? Uh, great door mirrors. Five minutes 59 and cut.